In the summer of 2021, I went on a walking trip with the walking club, and we ended up near Edinburgh. So I decided to visit Edinburgh. This is my first time in Scotland, so it's really exciting. I took a bus from Kelso to Edinburgh and delighted at a stop near Edinburgh Waverley Station. This is me having just gotten off the bus, just having a look around. So the first thing that I had to do was to find my accommodation, which I just booked on the day itself. It's basically just a small hostel. So it's definitely nothing fancy because I was trying to save money and just getting the most basic place where I can sleep. It's not exactly the safest because it's a shared room, but I couldn't afford something better, so this was what I opted for. Having settled in and rested for a bit, I decided to have a walk around the city. I really enjoyed just getting a feel of the city without really visiting any tourist attractions, just walking around, seeing the Scott Monument, the Edinburgh Castle from afar, as well as the University of Edinburgh itself. I really like the feeling that the city gave me as a whole, especially just the architecture and the type of sights that you get to see just walking around. The next day was a Saturday and I spent most of my day exploring the more touristy places or the recommended attractions in Edinburgh. This is me climbing up to Arthur's seat. So it's kind of like a hill and at the top of the hill is the site of an ancient volcano, 251 meters above sea level and it gives you a very nice view of the city. But on the morning that I went it was very foggy so I couldn't really see that much but it was still a good experience to climb up. After climbing back downhill, I walked past the Palace of Holyrood House, but you had to pay for tickets to get in, so I just decided to look at it from the outside. This is Her Majesty the Queen's official residence in Scotland. This is the Scottish Parliament building just in front of Holyrood Park, and it was opened in 2004. Next, I also walked past some university buildings, and I decided to just go in and have a look. There was a kind of art gallery thing going on, or an exhibition, and I just went in to have a quick look. As a medical student, there was a place in Edinburgh that I absolutely had to visit, which was the Surgeon's Hall Museum. This was the only place where I paid a ticket for. I think it's about £4.50 for students. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to take photos inside. I just found it really interesting to look at the exhibit and to reflect on like the history of surgery and the part that Edinburgh had to play in the development of surgical teaching. Next, I was also keen on visiting 
the National Museum of Scotland. However, this was during COVID times and I didn't know that I had to book a ticket beforehand. And because it was the weekend, it was all fully booked until the next Tuesday, which meant that I couldn't go in. But it wasn't such a huge shame because I figured that I would always be able to come back someday and maybe I should just spend the time walking around the city a bit more. The Elephant House is a cafe that's sometimes known as the birthplace of Harry Potter because J.K. Rowling sat here while writing many of her books. Next, I visited Greyfriars Kirk, which means church and kirkyard. It's a really nice, pretty and tranquil place. And it was famous because of the story of Bobby, a dog who was very loyal to his owner and apparently sat at his owner's grave for 14 years. This is me attempting to enter the National Library of Scotland, but again because of COVID restrictions, you had to book beforehand and there were no slots left. Next up is St Giles Cathedral. This is a really old cathedral, founded by King David I in 1124, and it has a very long and rich history. I'm not that interested in history myself, but it's just very interesting to see the pretty interior of the cathedral and to reflect on how they even built this very majestic place. This is Victoria Street, the inspiration behind Diagon Alley. Walking along Victoria Street, I end up at Grass Market, which is a market in the old town of Edinburgh. In the evening, I still had some energy left, so I decided to visit Kelton Hill. It's kind of like a park with a small hill and there are really nice monuments and views up there. I think I even liked it a bit more than other seat because it's so easy to get up to, you don't really have to climb much and it's just really worth it. It's a place you can have a picnic or just hang out or just, just sit there and meditate and look into the distance and it's just so amazingly peaceful. I wanted to catch the sunset, but there wasn't really a sunset per se, just some pink clouds in the distance. The camera couldn't really capture the beauty of the landscape and the beauty of the city view. You really have to go there in person to experience it. It's nice that the sun sets really late in summer, so there are more daylight hours for me to be outside. The next morning was a Sunday and I was due to leave Edinburgh soon, but I decided to take whatever little time I had left to visit the National Gallery of Scotland. It features some really good paintings by really famous artists from the Impressionist era and other pop of history that I'm not very familiar with but I think I was most impressed by Van Gogh and Monet paintings. Unfortunately only the first level was open I think maybe because of Covid but I think I spent enough time there to have a good look at what I wanted to look at. So that marks the end of my Edinburgh adventures I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will post more in the future about where I went next. See you in the next video. Bye!